What's up, Orphans? Welcome back to my channel. I've got another fundamental Nikola Nowitzki video for you. And today we are matched up with one of the men I was named after. A lot of my style of play is based on his. It's the two and a half time MVP from Serbia, the great Nikola Jokic. I've had this game circled on my calendar for a while, and it's time to see what damage we can do on each other's slightly overweight bodies. We're halfway through my rookie season. I'm sitting at 95 overall, so it's not every day I'm matched up with someone rated higher than me. And I'm not sure if you've heard but 2k finally gave this man the respect he deserves he is the highest rated player in the game at 98 overall and if that's not enough to deal with already i will be playing this game on hall of fame difficulty and of course like always i'm still playing for the washington wizards my man was so excited for this game to start i showed up in my uniform attire ready to go of course i've got to talk to my quote-unquote coach before the game but she could have been talking about menopause for all i know because i was not listening i have played 40 games just like this man there is nothing to in turn could tell me that I don't already know myself. It's game time and we got a shot of a suited up Nikola Jokic entering the arena and I swear to God I just pulled out my phone and took a picture of his outfit. I already took his moves, his on-court outfit, and if we ever meet in the playoffs I will be taking his off-court outfit too. I've been so focused on my matchup I never even noticed that the Nuggets are playing without Jamal Murray and Michael never swing the Rock Porter Jr. And that's gonna make this game so much easier for my teammates but also it could make it even more of a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Jokic and I. I've still never won a tip off with the camera on, but we've got skill based matchmaking today. And oh God, I can't even win that. Let me just walk back here and get settled in. But no, they're going to go to Jokic right away. Thankfully, he missed that. And somehow Corey got the rebound there. If this is how we're going to do it, let's do it. I'm going to back you down, hit a nice little fade away. Green, thank you very much. I've got to guard the pick and roll here. I hate doing this. We're going to switch and Jokic is going to dunk it. I've never seen that. Good to know. But that reminds me, we're actually the same player. I know damn well he can't guard the pick and roll either. So I'm going to come off this Gafford screen and hit a nice little midi. My shot's been falling, so I'm going to have to go at Jokic again. We're going to get that ball in the outside hand. Give him a shimmy, huh? Shimmy yay. And okay, shimmy nay. We're down one. We need a bucket. It's time to put him in the pick and roll again. Coming off the screen, Kuzma's open, but so is the floater. Oh, green. We're down two. I need to make a play because currently we have Gafford handling the ball in the three-point line. Yeah, let me hold on to that. I'm in traffic. No fake. Baseline fadeaway. Ah, ah. Is that same offensive dominance going to leak over to the defensive end? No, he's just going to go right by me on the baseline and score. I don't have takeover and they're double teaming me. Never a good sign, but look at my guys. Run into the three-point line. They know what's up. Knock down that three. I'm running back without even looking, and I'm not celebrating today. They're going to run the exact same ISO play on me, but I'm going to cut off the baseline, keep my hands up, and that's an open shot, and he makes it cool. DeLon Wright finds me down low, and the double team is not coming. Yeah, let me go to work real quick. Fade away. Green. Thank you. To be fair, Jokic has been cooking too. And even worse, he has a mismatch against Jordan Poole here. Jordan deserves this. I kind of just want to watch him get cooked. I try helping last second and he calls a switch so he can blame it on me. What a teammate. I'm going to get the ball down low. Am I getting double teamed? Am I getting triple teamed? I don't know. But Denny Avdia, you got to love it when NBA players can hit open threes. It's really a blessing. First quarter's winding down. Jokic cuts to the basket, gets the ball, and they call a foul on me. I only play with my hands up. That's bullshit. Challenge it, Wes Unseld, let's take a look. Your honor, as you can see, I had my hand straight up. I was playing fundamental basketball. We won the challenge, so that means I get another tip off against Jokic. My takeover is activated. I have added attributes. Can I win this, please? No, damn it. That challenge means nothing if we can't get a stop here. And I've got to help off. Gallinari has to switch on to Jokic and he just shoots it right over him like he wasn't there. Second quarter, we're up two points. I'm shooting 83%, but I got to get my teammates involved. We got a pick and fade here. I see the corner man leaking. I find Jordan Poole and Jordan splash that all over me. I've still got takeover. It's time to play some lockdown defense on this big fella. You and me, pal. You and me, huh? Come on. What you got? Oh, oh I got to go right by me. Okay. Got me there. Jordan Poole keeps volunteering himself to take on Jokic on defense. So I'm just going to double team him here by standing here. And Zeke Nanaji, if you want that shot, you can have it. We'll take that all day. And you know what a stop and a rebound means. I've got a mismatch and I'm calling ice. So I'm just going to back this fella down real quick and get an open post hook. We get another stop. I get another rebound. I'm going to do the exact same thing because I can. Coming through. Pardon me, excuse me. Let me just come right through here, get my space in and put up a nice shot. Fires it. 
This is what the hell was that? I threw it off the backboard before I could finish my timing. Jokic is going one on one with me, but the shot clock's running out. So I'm just going to put my hands up and get a stop. No, I'm not. We're down one. We could sure use a stop and please stop making me guard the pick and roll. You know what? If that's how it's going to be, you're going to get a taste of your own medicine. Here you go, Gafford. That's a dime. We're still down one point. We need a stop. And DeLon Wright steps up, steals the ball. He's got an open fast break. I'm just going to walk up to half court. This should be an easy bucket, but this is the Washington Wizards I'm playing for. They actually pass it to me at half court without me even asking. If that's the case, so be it. I'll just take my time, wait for Gafford to set an illegal screen, and I'll get another open mid-ranger. It's really starting to come together now. Daniel Gafford, my Aaron Gordon, just blocked the Aaron Gordon. But you know what? 2K thought I was having too much fun here, so they took over. Coming off the pick and roll, I'm throwing an alley-oop, but I get bumped, so that's not going to go through until way too late, and they're still going to throw it anyway. Somehow, we still have the ball, but now 2K is pissed. I've got Gafford open on the cut. I have him outlined that I'm passing it to him, but no, we'll just throw it away in the corner. I'll get subbed out, whatever. I come back in, down one point. We've got an inbound play set up here, but I've got a new one in mind. It's called give me the ball and run to the perimeter. And wouldn't you know it, it works flawlessly. I find Kuzma for an open three and he doesn't want it. He goes towards traffic and still makes it. So we'll take it. I've got to slow Jokic down. And of course he gets the ball once again. I'm playing solid defense and he just steps right through me and scores. And now he's hot. He's always been hot in my mind, but now he can just score on me whenever he wants. And they're going to go into the half of three points. Offensively, I have been almost flawless. I have 15, seven and five, but on defense, I'm getting pushed around like Will Smith. Jokic has 18 points at the half. Coming into the second half, Jokic is still hot, so I'm not dying to go at him one-on-one. -on -one. I call for the pick and roll, and they're both guarding me, so we're going to turn this into some Lob City action. I know I just said I don't want to go one-on-one -on -one against a hot Jokic, but the man is eating on every fake, so I'm going to have to do it to him. I'm going to hit another fadeaway, and I can't miss today. Jokic is still hot, but if I were hot, I still wouldn't be able to guard the pick and roll, so I'm going to have to do what I need to do and throw another lob to Gafford, but off the glass? I am a center. That is so unnecessary necessary that is not fundamental basketball i don't know how to feel about that we can't just keep going back and forth with them though we need some stops and kuzma okay hey if we can't stop them let's just hurt them i like it old school basketball another play on defense and another dirty play i like it delon right invade his landing space yo could you want to pick me up full court too bad i was already thinking about rewarding the dirty player that's a dot that's a three i'm liking it we're up four i still haven't stopped Jokic, but i'm gonna accidentally steal the ball i love it let's run boys i'm looking up and oh Jokic! oh i missed but oh our defense is actually stepping up big time delon wright's gonna get the steal here he's gonna find me inside i'm not sure if i'm being double teamed so i'm gonna kick it out and the second time i get it i'm not getting double teamed it's time to cook let me just back you down get some space go for the fade away and a post hook but we'll take it all right we are rolling on defense we get another stop i'm just gonna go straight at reggie jackson but no one's gonna pick up kuzma that is too easy i've got a mismatch and takeover on i know i'm getting double teamed Corey was open but i've got to reward these guys for cutting to the basket Jokic has the ball i'm expecting an ice so i'm playing the best defense i can and he throws an alley-oop right over my head i never saw that coming i'm thinking anything he can do i can do better i know gafford's cutting to the basket so i'm gonna throw the lob it's open but okay i guess he doesn't feel like it i'm looking for a redo i'm expecting the double team to come from the corner but it's not coming so don't mind if i do just gonna mix some of our sweat up real quick and fake fake and fade away i was really expecting more double teams in this game but Jokic is a higher overall than me that doesn't mean he's a better player than me though i will take this fade away all day we're up 14 points so i guess coach thinks it's a good time to test the waters of autism and double team the best passing big man ever i've got a mismatch i call the iso i could back this guy down any day of the week but i don't even want it i've got to prove a point today i'm gonna hit another fade away apparently hunter tyson will take me on one-on-one -on -one, but Jokic won't what happened rick i thought you weren't the good guy anymore ain't that what you said Said. Even right here, right now, you ain't gonna fight for him. Jokic gets the ball. They call for a double team and he fades. He takes my move, but he misses. We're up almost 20 points. I've got Denny Avdia to work with, but I don't care. Hunter Tyson, where are you looking? That's a dot. Jeez. This is a cheap little move I use. I call for a screen in the paint so I can get an open post fadeaway. It doesn't work this time, but Tyus Jones is wide open, so we'll take that. The only thing that would make this game any better is if I could draw a charge on Jokic. That would take off three years of my life, but I'm willing to put my body on the line. Screw it. Here we go. Ooh. 
Whew, thankfully he got an assist. That could have ended our season. The rest of the game was pretty easy for us. They were really focusing in on me on offense, but little did they know I was just looking to boost up my assist averages. The game's over. I'm looking to walk over to Jokic and say good game, but we're both going to walk away from each other. You're going to dap up Kuzma. You're going to dap up your own teammate. Where are my daps? That's not going to help me picking out a thumbnail at all, but also maybe we got some bad blood there. Either way, we won this game by 13 points. To be fair, they did not have Murray or Porter, so maybe that would have made a difference. Offensively, this is one of my best games yet on this difficulty with 29 points, 18 rebounds, and 16 assists. Defensively, could have been a lot better. I'm going to be sore for a couple days, but hey, it's what we got to do for the team. And without any further ado, it is time to get our press conference started. Lena Becker, Washington Post. Congratulations on the victory against a tough opponent tonight. What were your thoughts on how you matched up with Nikola Jokic? Jokic is incredible. He tore up my rectum tonight with his post game, and I definitely need to improve my defense. But you know how some players have said meeting Michael Jordan is like meeting Black Jesus? Well, for me, meeting Nikola Jokic tonight was like meeting a, a, a white Jesus. Claude Martin, drama alert. You came away with the win tonight, but to be fair, you only beat the Nuggets by 13 points while at home and while the Nuggets were playing without Jamal Murray and Michael never swing the Rock Porter Jr. Are you really satisfied with this victory? Claude, I swear, if you keep speaking to me like that, I will wait until you have a family gathering and set your house on fire. How about the fact that I'm playing with the Washington Wizards? My best teammate is Daniel Gafford. Have you ever heard of him before I came here? A win's a win and your wife's a whore. 205 Civics I-7, the Gailey Grind. You had no issues scoring on opponents down low tonight. How does it feel to pound it inside at will? It's empowering. I imagine it's similar to what a fat white woman feels like when they post a picture of themselves with yoga pants and a tank top. BMLE man, slam. What is your pregame routine to loosen up before a game? Daniel Gafford. Does that answer your question? I like flour, B-E-T. Were you scared of Jokic tonight? How would your answer change if he were black? To be honest, yes. I'm just glad that the rest of my useful teammates showed up tonight and helped out. If he were black, oh boy. I mean, it would have probably made me run up and down the court a little faster, have to be more careful about my shot selection and worry about getting dunked on. But also, it would have been relaxing to not have to guard him out on the three-point line. Magic Al Daly, PETA. Why do you think Jokic shows a profound interest in horses? Hey, what else is there to do in Serbia? You tell me, because I really don't know what it's like there, but my guess is it's a lot like Missouri. At least it's a fairly safe hobby for him, especially compared to other guys in the league like John ja Morant that run organized gangs in their free time. So good for him. YDXNK, BBC. Do you consider Jokic girth gang? I thought he would be just by looking at him, but after playing against him tonight, I know for a fact he is a part of Girth Gang. I mean, there was one point in the game when I was backing down against him in the post and I thought I felt a soda can in his shorts, but now that I think about it, that was definitely his cock. Ox V3, WP gender identity. You are amazing in between the lines, but how are you in bed? Just like basketball, I do my best, but there's definitely room for improvement. I do enjoy seeing hair in my head again. CJP64 Cosmopolitan. How many points do you think you could score in a WNBA game? Realistically, I could average 70 points a game, but I'd probably get bored by the third quarter. Jacko Dutoit, 2970. Ball is life. Which one of your teammates do you think is the best kisser? I cannot believe you think I would even answer that. Kyle Kuzma. Alrighty, that's gonna do it. Thank you, everyone.